Hey beautiful, welcome back to my tarot channel. If this is your first time here, I am Roya. I am an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. Now my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today's not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is all about who's coming towards you in love. So let's see my dear currently what energy you're attracting towards yourself, who it is. I don't know about you, but I'm very, very excited to start this reading. And as always, my dear, I have three pals you can choose from. This is pal one, this is pal two, and this is pal three. As always, my dear, please feel free to pause the video. Or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps. In the description box but of course also in the comment section and as always my dear please keep in mind that this is a general reading it's so not everything may resonate with you but yeah having said that let's begin hey pal one welcome to your reading my dear now let's start straight away with your reading and let's see who's coming towards you in love all right my dear first of all i would like to get you guys some tarot cards so let's start with that for my beautiful pile one who's coming towards you in love let's see let's see all right so the first card we have is the judgment card The Queen of Wands. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we have the Knight of Swords, which turned over. Okay, we have two cards. We have the Six of Wands and the Two of Wands. One card fell and it is the Ten of Wands. The Tower. All right. One last card, please. And we got the Magician. Look at that. At the back of the deck, my dear, we have the Sun card. All right, all right. So, um, my dear pile one. Oh, before that, let me put the charger into the um, <laughs> camera. I forgot about that. All right. So, my dear pile one, let's start with your reading. and Let's see who's coming towards you in love. What do you need to know about this individual? First of all, my dear, with the sun card being the overall energy in here, I feel like this is someone who is definitely going to give you a lot of positive vibes. This person, yeah, it could be the case that the first impressions even that you're going to get of them, whether it's online or offline, they're going to be very, very positive. It doesn't feel like um, you're, you're getting to know someone who's giving you at first not so the best vibes but later on you know you will learn to actually like them or you will see that there is much more to them no i feel like from the beginning things are actually already like chemistry wise and all there is a lot of good things between you guys that's for sure and if we're looking into the who this person is or actually before that um what i'm getting let me start with this first is and this is a very interesting message the message I got, my dear, this person is actually kind of being guided towards you. Now, I'm not getting yet anything regarding a spiritual connection or so. I'm not seeing anything yet. 
However, what I'm getting is that your spirit guides, the energies that you're connected to are guiding this person towards you. So there is definitely, I would say, a reason as for why this person is coming into your life. Maybe you have a soul contract with them, for example, but yeah, there is a purpose in this. Honestly, this doesn't feel like just someone being in and out of your life, but someone who will have an impact on you yeah also like future wise this is someone who who may stay into your life for quite a long time and this is why i'm saying it doesn't feel like someone who is coming in today and who who's going away tomorrow but this is someone who like even into their energy it feels like they will take a place in your life, if you understand what I mean. Another thing I would like to share here about this person is they're definitely a very open person. This is someone welcoming, someone also who's very warm. I feel like someone who's always greeting people, um, very polite as well, but they definitely also have a great sense of humor. What I'm getting is this is someone who knows how to make people laugh. So that's very interesting as well. But their energy is definitely one that people pay attention to. If this person is in a room, people feel their presence or people pay attention to them. So they don't go, um, like their energy doesn't hide away <laughs> like how should i say it it just feels like this person's presence is noticeable and when they are somewhere people see them people notice them people interact with them not so much someone who is in like in the hidden or like um hiding somewhere not really in the um like let me see yeah this person may even like to be the attention of um of everyone <laughs> i don't think they have they have like um, a problem with that this could be someone who actually likes to interact a lot with others and to i'm hearing express themselves yeah this feels like more so a, a like extroverted person another thing i would like to share here with you guys is Okay, wow, yeah. If you remember in the beginning of the reading, I talked about the fact that I feel like this is someone who is being guided towards you, but there is more to it. Whoever this individual is, let me tell you that they have a very strong spirit team and in fact, their team, their spirit guides have guided them definitely throughout their life already and I feel like they're have been like situation in this person's life in which maybe they didn't know what to do or how to come out of the situation or maybe they were confused and even though like okay look at this i think the ten of wands is actually beautifully representing what i'm trying to say so there is this person blindfolded right and you can see they're trying to find their way through um this very interesting path and i know why but the way i am intuitively picking up on this card today is do you see those trees with those um like faces on and there's like this this fog or so that's coming out of them it almost feels like this is their spirit team trying to guide them through this um, path so they don't fall down you know and they have trust in it you know they're listening they allow themselves to be guided by their spirit guides and this is what I'm getting here as well I'm not getting necessarily whether this person is aware <laughs> that they have spirit guides or not because sometimes our spirit guides can lead us even if we're not aware of it you know maybe it is a gut feeling that we get regarding something or maybe we think our intuition is trying to tell us something there are a lot of different ways in which our spirit guides may lead us and guide us through life um, even if we're not aware of them and 
what I'm seeing is that there is something very similar happening here, that's for sure. Another thing I would like to share about this person is they definitely feel like being someone who is a little bit fearless in the sense that when this person is going for something, if they want to have something, let's just say they have a goal or they're determined to achieve something, they will go for it. Even if the path, once again, is a little bit uncertain, they have also a lot of belief in themselves. I feel like this person is not that easy to give up and it is definitely a strength of them. They're very determined. That's interesting. I feel like even at times in which, yeah, also with the tower card, you know, maybe life, for example, they went through a phase in their life which was very difficult and it seems like, excuse me, it seemed like everything was crumbling down. This person's mindset really allowed them to go through it and their willpower, their determination and once again, this element of being fearless, it's definitely within them. This could also be someone who is not that scared of being under pressure or working under pressure. They may cope with it very well or they may... Um, yeah, function through all that very well. It doesn't... Um, yeah, once again, I heard it doesn't make them give up. It takes a lot for this person to throw something away. It really does because with their tower card being here as well, this person already has accumulated a certain level of strength which comes from tough times and when you have gone through certain experiences in your life which weren't easy you already yeah you're building some strength and I feel this is the kind of energy this person is also embodying here they have built strength that has not been easy going through because this is the kind of strength you build because you don't have any other choice. Sometimes in life, you're going through a very dark phase. You have to be strong. You have to keep pushing, right? You have to um, build a protection around you. And this is what this person has. However, I feel like now they're very grateful for that because it has made them, keyword, fearless. That's for sure. And it has given them a mindset which is also very strong and it doesn't surprise me at all that I'm like what I'm getting is this is someone who eventually their path will lead to success because okay I'm hearing a lot of consistency that's interesting so this person could be pretty, pretty yeah consistent and as I said they're determined so the tower energy, maybe this tower phase in their life has taught them that they need to be consistent, that they should not give up on something and they have to push through it. And these kind of skills and traits that they have um, accumulated have also, yeah, I'm hearing are also very positive in other areas of their life because now they're not only strong when it comes to life but also when it comes to for example their job or their um, dreams and goals you know they have the same mindset the same consistency the same element of not giving up and staying determined no matter what so that's very interesting this is someone who has been fighting and coming out literally a winner the six of wands the winner card this is also someone by the way who's very versatile someone who can do a lot of different things maybe they're very good at um, the more so logical things but also the more creative things you know it seems like they can 
emerge into a lot of different waters and they can make it work. Yeah, this is something I would like to share. This feels like an individual who can make things work, okay? They just, they can find a solution. Even if they're trying something for the very, very first time, it still feels like they understand how to navigate through it and how to make it work in their favor, kind of. Now, my dear, I would like to also get you an oracle card. So let's see for my beautiful pile one. Who's coming towards you in love? Yeah, look at that. The hero or heroine um, archetype. And it says, passion for a journey of personal empowerment. Yeah, that this is definitely something very fitting i would say because as we have seen there is a level of personal empowerment in this person's story with the tower card being as well i definitely feel like this person has experienced at least one tower moment one major tower moment in their life that has shaped them into who they are and once again wh which has built the strength within them also mentally speaking and it has been very empowering, although it may have not been easy going through it. A tower moment is not necessarily something easy, but it's definitely something very, very transformative. And this transformation I see in this person. We haven't really received any messages um, regarding insights, who they were before this tower moment, maybe in the past they um, were not very determined and, you know, they were a little bit different in comparison to the energy, to the way they're coming through now. So it could be the case that this person definitely went through a personal transformation, I'm hearing. But yeah, I'm not receiving anything regarding who they used to be. But it's not important because this version of them is who you're meeting, who you are interacting with and not the old one. So yeah, this is definitely for me a confirmation you could say. Now I also would like to get you a oracle card from this deck. I was guided to use those two decks. So yeah, let's see what else. Look at that. I just... um. I wanted to, uh, to shuffle the cards, but then I saw the strength card. Absolutely, you guys. Strength. So let's see. For my beautiful pile. One. All right. We have the new beginnings archetype. Um, excuse me, card. <laughs> this is not archetype. This is the archetype card. We have the new beginnings card. Okay. With the new beginnings card being here, okay, I'm receiving a very, very specific message. What I'm getting is, I feel like, my dear, at the time when you will meet this person, they may actually start something new in their life. This new thing could be connected to you guys also meeting, but it doesn't necessarily have to. But the main message I'm receiving is, yeah, something new that they will do maybe start when you guys meet such as maybe a change of career or maybe a change of location or maybe a hobby you know and once again for some of you guys maybe those things are connected to you guys meeting if you haven't met them of course yet but it's, it seems like this person is stepping into a new chapter yeah they have this kind of fresh um new energy attached to their <laughs> space and i feel like this new beginning is something exciting it doesn't feel like something that they're rejecting or they don't really um, want or they're not inviting into their space but also with the butterflies i don't know why but they but i feel very guided towards them butterflies are also a great sign of transformation so this could actually, yeah, definitely be a new change entering their life regarding maybe one area of their life or multiple ones when you guys meet or when you guys um, interact with each other for the very first time. 
All right, so my dear pal Juan, this is all I have for you guys for today. If you, my dear, would like to claim this energy for yourself, let's go with a butterfly emoji. Drop a butterfly emoji in the comment section below if you would like to claim this energy as yours. As always, if you haven't, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal Juan, take care, my dear. Hey pal to welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see, my dear, who's coming towards you in love. All right, so first of all, I would like to start with some tarot cards. So let's start straight away. For pile two, who's coming towards you in love? Let's see, let's see. Who's coming towards you in love? All right. Oh, look at that. Okay. The first card we have here is the Ace of Cups. All right. All right. And we also have the Nine of Cups here. The Ace of Wands, interesting, two aces. Three of Wands, <laughs> interesting. So far, we only have Cup Energy and Wands Energy. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, the Hermit card. The King of Cups. And let's get you guys one last card. Oh my goodness. Too many, too many. Only one, please. All right, and look at that, we have the moon card. At the back of the deck, we have the four of pentacles. All right, so my dear pal two, who is coming towards you in love? Now, the first message that came through very, very strongly um, is, I really feel like my dear pile two, for the majority of you guys, not necessarily for everyone, but those of you guys who want this especially as well, this is going to be a new person. This is not um, an ex or so. Once again, it's a general reading, so take it how it resonates. But for the majority of you guys, I would say 80% at least, um, this is going to be a new person. And another thing, by the way, I got very strongly is... This person will give you love security. That's something I got. Maybe a sense of security or they will make you feel very secure in the relationship. So yeah, I said a relationship as well. I really feel like this is something, it feels like commitment or it feels like a long-term thing, you know? It doesn't feel like something just for a brief period of time or... Um, like a casual thing that's not the energy i'm receiving here at all but as i said majority wise a new person and i feel like for love you guys you actually need this you need a new beginning in your love life you need a new start you need a fresh start you need new people coming towards you new energy, something you have never experienced before. It kind of feels like you're the kind of person who needs to leave the past. Now, of course, when we talk about your love life, you need to leave the past of your love life 
behind and just yeah open yourself up to a fresh new beginning to something new to something you may have never experienced like that before and this is what i'm receiving here for you guys another thing i would like to say is this feels like a relationship yeah <laughs> once again you guys relationship you know when i do who's coming towards you in love it's about the potential right at the end of the day you guys have free will and you can decide whether you would want um this to go any further or not but in this pile this very much feels like um you will uh like you want a relationship with them the potential is definitely here that's for sure but as I was saying, I really feel like this is the kind of relationship in which, especially emotionally speaking, you're going to be very happy. So maybe you and this person, you match in a lot of different ways and you feel like emotionally you're safe, emotionally you are, um, I'm hearing, stimulated but in a positive way. Also with the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups is a card which is truly very, very positive when it comes out. And especially in this kind of energy, it seems very fulfilling, it seems very satisfying. So yeah, this person definitely brings, I'm hearing, something into your life which is going to be a good addition, I'm hearing. Now let's look into a little bit who this person is, shall we? First of all, I feel like this is someone who's very, very passionate when it comes to them starting a new relationship. They love getting excited. They love the dating phase. You know, they love to get to know someone. They love when, you know, the chemistry st like slowly builds up and all. This is someone who definitely enjoys the process as well. Not only the end goal, but also the journey towards it. And another thing I would like to share is this is something I'm receiving so, so strongly. This is someone who is a great manifester. Maybe they research a lot about it, but this seems like someone who's consciously not subconsciously but consciously manifesting and whether they are spiritual or not i also feel like this person is definitely someone who has come across a lot of synchronicities before or a lot of things that maybe they were not really able to explain or things that they just didn't understand so maybe for some time they always saw over and over again the same repeating numbers and it may have even like freaked them out a little bit because they weren't able to explain it anymore with their like logical mind or with um something yeah i'm hearing it didn't make sense interesting <laughs> so it's kind of like there's a door opening to them if it has, hasn't happened yet regarding a more expanded consciousness yeah but that's very interesting but definitely this element of being a great manifester it's coming through for this person yeah they know how to get the things they want that's what i'm getting they know how to get it For some of you guys, not for everyone, I'm receiving an energy coming through. I don't know whether it's you or them. The energies are not sharing this with me, but someone connected in this, either you or them. One of you guys may feel very drawn towards like mysticism or maybe occult stuff or more so I would say magical, like the magical spiritual aspect. So maybe that's you, um, but there is this, yeah, it's coming through here. If it's not you, maybe it's this person. It's something that they will um, get interested in into the future, you know, or something that is connected to them. Yeah, 
this could be future energy. It doesn't have to be something um, which is right now an importance for either of you guys. Another thing, my dear, yeah, especially this energy of the moon. Maybe someone feels very drawn towards the moon. Maybe someone thinks that the moon is very magical. Or I'm hearing magical things happen throughout um, or while certain moon phases are happening. Interesting. Another thing, my dear, I would like to share about this person is it feels like their cup is full. They are very abundant. It feels like this person, as I'm speaking, has everything they need and they're content. Like they're also very, I'm hearing, satisfied with how much they have. You know, it is enough for them. They feel like um, they have also a lot of to give, by the way. That's another message. Interesting. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, this is someone who takes good care of themselves. You may even be able to see that through their appearance, through maybe the way they carry themselves, they present themselves. Another message, my dear pile two, yeah, that I'm receiving is... This person is either maybe a little bit more introverted or if um, if that's not so... Yeah, let me see. One second. I need to um, understand this message better. I feel like this person definitely has no problem being by themselves. And in fact, they may enjoy it very much. You know, this is not the kind of individual who feels like when they're by themselves that they're missing out or so or that mm, they feel lonely. No, no, no. Especially this missing out. They don't feel like they're missing out on anything, you know, when they are doing their own thing and when they're by themselves. In fact, they could very much recharge. Maybe they need it. It seems like they're... I'm hearing dancing um, in the rhythm of their own drum. <laughs> I don't know if like this is how the saying goes, but that's what I heard. They're doing their own thing and they're happy doing so. This is not someone who will change themselves or trying to mold themselves into something that other people like. You know, this is someone who's pretty much their authentic self and... If someone doesn't like that, I'm hearing it's not their problem. There are billions of other people out there who, you know, may fit um, someone else's liking. But for them, they they came here to be themselves. And they're not going to be someone else's copy, I'm hearing. Yeah, you guys, there is something about this person... That truly feels a little bit magical. Maybe this person, their energy or their appearance, something about their features, maybe even looks a little bit ethereal, perhaps even. But yeah. Maybe this person is slowly coming into the realization that there is so much more to life than we can sense, you know? There is so much more that we cannot see, we cannot hear, we cannot taste. And yeah, this truly feels like someone who is exploring, you know. Another thing, this could be someone who is interested in things that are more so seen as like fantasy or... Hmm. What is this about? You know, I have to say that there is something about Pal 2 which, yeah, the energies, they don't 
allow me to see the whole picture. And it's so interesting that we have the moon card right here as well, because of course the moon card is the hidden secrecy kind of card. And this is not a message that I'm receiving through the moon card. It has nothing to do with it, but it's nice that it's there. It's more so about the energy. It's something about um, this reading, energetically speaking. They're keeping it away from me. It's kind of like there are certain messages that I've talked about, but I'm not seeing the full picture. I'm just getting a glimpse and that's it. And that's why I feel like a second time, yeah, actually twice um, within this reading, I feel like... Um, I need to figure it out like there is so much more to it but I'm getting it for some reason you're not um, supposed to know it all and that's okay because maybe the energies just think that you should not know it yet or maybe there is a reason as for why either way I would like to get you an oracle card to get a little bit more information about this person So let's see, for my beautiful pal too, who's coming towards you in love? Alright, look at that, wow. <laughs> Such an interesting card. You guys got this shapeshifter archetype. And it says, skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness. <laughs> Ability to see the potential in everything. What am I saying the whole time, you guys? This, oh my goodness, I can't believe how fitting this energy is to what I was just receiving. It truly feels like this person is waking up to the fact that we as human beings from our like 3D point of view, we're just um experiencing a limited amount of yeah the possibilities of our reality you know and it truly feels like the more this person connects with their spiritual side and the more they open themselves up to the ideas that there is so much they don't know yet and there is so much that wants to be explored once again there is this aspect of <clears throat> magical energy of mysticism coming through as well so yeah maybe this is something this person will research about in the future if they haven't done it so far and they will look at life a little bit differently i'm hearing um coming out of this like matrix kind of um, worldview and actually seeing things in a more expanded way and yeah, definitely they could literally work on expanding their consciousness or maybe this is something which will naturally happen through the things that this person will learn and integrate into their life. Another thing that I really love about this card is that it says ability to see the potential in everything. This is such a powerful statement right there because sometimes the way we're living life the way we're also programmed we may just see things from a very limited perspective and once we open ourselves up more and more we actually can see more and more as well and i really feel like my dear pile to this person if they haven't started this journey yet but they are embarking on a journey that is truly very very exciting oh my goodness this it's literally giving me goosebumps because it reminds me a little bit of my own i would say i don't know why i feel like saying this but um i guess there is a reason for it but this reminds me of my own journey you know when it comes to the beginning of um me stepping into this like um more expanded consciousness so that's very interesting okay wow now my dear let's get you guys one last card another oracle card i was drawn to use both these oracle cards today for your reading so let's look into that for my beautiful pile two okay we have two cards coming out for you guys let me make a little bit more space here actually the clarity card was first and then the peace card okay 
Yeah, you know what I'm getting? This used to be their life, or this is their life right now. They are in this little bubble. And what's going to happen is they will step out of this bubble and see that there is so much more out there that they didn't knew um that they didn't know about or that they um haven't like stepped into and yeah this is a very exciting i'm i'm getting also a spiritual journey that this person is going towards and the aspect of clarity and peace this journey will actually i'm hearing take away the confusion regarding maybe certain aspects of life i heard purpose so this person may actually find their purpose through this wow very very interesting I feel like my dear pile to whoever you're actually attracting towards you here, who's coming towards you in love, is someone who has a yeah has a lot to share with the world in the future, especially because this person will learn from this experience and help others through it. So wow, <laughs> this can be a very significant person in your life that's for sure oh my goodness this energy is is incredible i did not expect it to go like that um but it's amazing for sure my dear pal too this is all i have for you guys for today if you would like to claim this energy let's go with the moon emoji Drop a moon emoji in the comment section below if you would like to claim this energy for yourself. If you haven't, as always, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or a candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well my beautiful pal too take care my dear hey pal three welcome to your reading my dear now let's see who's coming towards you in love my dear what do you need to know about this person first of all i would like to start with some tarot cards so let's start straight away with that for my beautiful pile three let's see let's see who is coming towards you in love all right who's coming towards you in love who's coming towards you in love the first card my dear we got for you is the knight of pentacles the three of wands Okay, one card fell. We have the King of Wands. It also turned over. And the Page of Swords. The Six of Cups. All right, we got the Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot card. And we have the Hierophant. All right, okay. At the back of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. So for my beautiful pal three, let's see, let's see, my dear, who's coming towards you in love? What do you need to know about this person? First of all, let me start with this. I really feel like, my dear, this is someone who puts their career and their job, um, yeah, 
on a very high pedestal like um, in their life it's definitely playing a huge role this is someone who's very determined this is someone who has goals they're not just having a job so they can pay their bills and you know like live comfortably but this is someone who loves to experience those like little milestones and achievements this person loves to put their energy into something and it grows or you know they yeah they can go to the next level with it so this is someone who has a lot in their mind that they want to achieve let me tell you that and it's this is a very driven person it wouldn't surprise me at all if this person for example would like to um, work themselves up there to a certain position um, become a ceo or maybe um yeah, I'm, I'm getting someone who is working towards a certain status. That's what I'm getting, a certain status. And what I find very interesting as well is, look at that. You have the King of Wands here and you also have the King of Wands or the Father of Fire in this deck. It's cold and the energy of the King of Wands is definitely dominating the sprite a lot. And by the way, this is not gender specific. It doesn't matter who you're asking about. Tarot is all about energy, <laughs> all about energy. And what I'm getting is that this could be someone who, yeah, they can dominate themselves into maybe a certain field or into a certain space. And even if they're starting off as like the beginner or as the newcomer, whatever it may be, they will find their way towards the top. That's what I heard. Very interesting individual. They could also be a little bit stoic. That's another thing. Or maybe they like the philosophy behind it. Um, someone who will manifest, <laughs> but at the same time also put a lot of attention um excuse me intention <laughs> intention and also action into the things that they want this is a very strong individual even if the whole world tells them they will not be able to do it believe me they will do it not necessarily to prove anyone wrong but because they want to do it because they want to do it for themselves and other people trying to discourage them it doesn't work this person is is focused <laughs> i'm hearing laser focused and they're determined a maker a doer they may not talk so much but more so do not so much someone who talks about the things they want to do but more so like you will see the results you will see them taking action and I feel like sometimes they may even maybe pressure themselves a little bit or maybe all those high expectations that they have on themselves. It may be a little bit burdensome. So this is someone who definitely has high expectations on them. But you know what's very interesting? I am seeing that this person, their road or their path is leading towards success. And it doesn't surprise me because... There is so much that screams success in this person's energy. This is the kind of individual who may get successful one day. And then when you look at their like um, biography or when you look into the process and, you know, the journey, you will see that, oh my goodness, like they went through so many things. This person failed many times. This person was so determined, but they never gave up. And by the way, you guys, for some of you, this is giving me a little bit PAL2 vibes. So if you were drawn to PAL2, feel free to watch it. If not, then as always, just stick with this one here. But I really feel like if you look into this person, a sit back, failure, ma doing mistakes and all that doesn't hold them back. In fact, it may drive them even more because once you've failed 
you know, maybe you're gonna see it's not as bad as you thought it would be. A lot of people are scared of failing, but sometimes it is not as scary as you think it is. And it's kind of like um, this person this person thinks that not doing something is worse than maybe trying to do something, failing at it, you know? So, yeah, this is not someone who gives up at all and they will get to the finishing line, that's for sure. <laughs> they will get to it. Another thing I would like to say is it feels like this person is respected a lot maybe it's through this incredible mindset that they have <laughs> people see how determined they are people see even if they fall to the ground they will stand up again and they will try again falling down does not scare them falling down does not make them um not do something but it may even motivate them to do better the next time so yeah failing once may make them want to try better the second time I even feel like, this is interesting, this person has a specific person looking up to them or respecting them who is much younger to them. Maybe it is even a child looking up to them or someone who is more so in their teenage years, but someone sees them as maybe a role model. So <laughs> very sweet, very cute. Yeah, this is interesting. They could also have a pet, by the way. I'm hearing a loyal pet. Speaking of loyalty, loyalty is definitely very, very important to this person. This is someone who's thriving towards a certain vision that they have. And what I'm getting is this vision includes independence. This person wants to gain a certain level of independence i'm also hearing freedom very interesting but most importantly security financial security and just generally speaking this this feeling of being grounded and rooted and feeling secure that's what they are thriving towards this person is embodying a certain energy like a fire energy and it seems like what they're um, thriving towards is something which I would describe as earthy energy. Now, when I say fire earthy energy, I'm not talking about um, zodiac signs here. I'm just speaking about the energies because this is a very passionate individual. This is someone who has a lot going for them. You know, they're very inspired, very creative, and all that. But the kind of version of themselves that they're trying to um, transform into is a very stable one, a very secure one, a very grounded one. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. For some of you guys... Okay, this is a very, very, very specific message. But for someone watching, if you have children, um, you will see that this person is great with children. Yeah, I feel like this person has a side to them which is very soft, like very gentle, very sweet. And especially when they interact with children, you will see it coming forward. Yeah, as much as they are strong, they become a softie um, when they interact with like children, you know. They love when um, they... I'm even hearing playing with them or spending time with them. Maybe it's very nurturing to their own inner child as well. Interesting. Let's get you guys some oracle cards. I would like to get you one card from this deck. For my dear pal one who's coming towards you in love. Ooh. 
we have the gossip archetype and it says awakens consideration for the feelings of others honoring trust <laughs> the message i'm actually receiving with this card is there could be some gossip around them or maybe people talk about them this person could be in the public eye or maybe people know about them I feel like, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of like envious energy coming through. So maybe their peers or people they know, they see that this person is moving towards something big. And yeah, it may insecure them. So they talk, <laughs> they're trying to talk about this person or they're just too invested in this person's life. So this person may actually protect themselves a little bit, I would say, from these kind of individuals because this doesn't seem like someone who likes to be involved in gossip, like um, actively gossip themselves, I mean, or someone who even cares about other people, as I said, their opinions and all. They're doing their own thing. I'm hearing let people talk. So maybe that's something they say let people talk, I'm focusing on myself, I'm not engaging into anything that drains my energy, but I'm actually putting my energy into something which will be um, very fruitful for me in the future. Also, I would like to get you guys one card of this um, oracle, excuse me, oracle deck. So let's see. One second, one card fell. Let me get it. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> we have the passion card. Yeah, this person is very passionate about their goals and their dreams. And they have to be my dear. Because I feel like what this person has put their mind into is something very big. They have very high expectations of themselves. And if they weren't so passionate about it... Well, I don't know whether um, they would be as consistent as they are or as determined as they are, especially when it comes to this aspect of failure. Sometimes a failure may actually turn you off, you know, and you may give up on something. But when you're passionate about something, you keep going. Even if you're experiencing setbacks, this passion that you have, it's going to make you go on and go on and that's what i'm seeing in this individual as well so yeah very passionate individual i also feel like not about their work only all although this reading was definitely heavily um i would say focusing on this person's work and career life maybe someone came into this reading with the intention to get to know more about um their maybe um next person's career or so but this person is expressing this passion not only in this area of their life but also in their romantic um relationships let me tell you that now for my dear pal three this is actually all i have for you guys for today now if you would like to claim this energy as yours let's go with a tree emoji Drop a tree emoji in the comment section below if you would like to claim this energy as yours. As always, my dear, if you haven't, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal three, take care, my dear.